polyphasic or splintered QRS in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve. ECG in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve showing right bundle branch block pattern with polyphasic and splintered QRS. The QRS is wide and lead V2 shows RS RS pattern mimicking right bundle branch block. Lead 2 shows multiple small deflections that is splintered QRS. Slurred S wave in lateral leads also form part of the RBBB pattern. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The duration of QRS has been linked to right ventricular enlargement and dysfunction in Epstein's anomaly. A larger atrialized right ventricular volume has been noted in these cases. As a corollary, those with near normal ECG would have mild morphological abnormalities and a better clinical profile. Splintered and polyphasic QRS of Epstein's anomaly can also be considered as fragmented QRS as per the new terminology. Fragmented QRS is a marker of myocardial scar and consequent arrhythmias in ischemic and non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. Similarly, fragmented QRS has been shown to be associated with larger region of atrialized right ventricle and increased risk of arrhythmic events in Epstein's anomaly. Epstein's anomaly may be associated with right-sided axillary pathway in ventricular pre-excitation that is WPW syndrome with or without atrioventricular re-entrant tachycardia. Multiple axillary pathways can occur and radiofrequency catheter ablation is effective. Rare cases of ventricular tachycardia with Epstein's anomaly have been reported in literature. One was a case of sustained monomorphic ventricular tachycardia and received an implantable defibrillator. Peritricuspid re-entry has been documented in another case of ventricular tachycardia in Epstein's anomaly. Scar formation in the inferior atrialized portion of the right ventricle formed the substrate for the re-entrant ventricular tachycardia in this case. Yet another young girl with Epstein's anomaly and ventricular tachycardia received an entirely subcutaneous defibrillator. Tall P waves due to gross right atrial enlargement in Epstein's anomaly has been called Himalayan P waves though not seen in the ECG illustrated here. Himalayan P waves are also described in tricuspid atresia. Here are some important references for ECG abnormalities discussed in Epstein's anomaly. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.